and uh, we're we just finished the discussion before the news uh, with uh, two gentlemen that were discussing about why some people are afraid and mm. if the fear is justifiable, uh, the fear of the beavers. Some people say the fear of the beavers is the beginning of wisdom <laughs> for, for politicians and all that. But if you have ever thought about the electoral pro process and got frustrated, uh, I'm sure you'll be on the divide where uh, people are standing for beavers. Justice for beavers, <laughs> justice for everything, really? justice for fairness, justice because nowadays if you don't get things right, you just say justice just, for that thing. On Twitter. Yeah, justice for Pomo, for instance. <laughs> 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 All right, one of the trending uh, stuff that just came up, uh, we've just been notified that for 2023, both the federal government and the state government mm. put together have budgeted 19.16 trillion naira for salaries, mm. pensions, emoluments, and all these payments that need to be done to workers yeah. and people who pay taxes. So how much was budgeted for capital uh, projects and all that? Uh, I think it's around 11.3-something uh, billion. Which is a paltry sum compared to what they're just using to pay salaries. You know why? I'm, I'm just hoping that actually these salaries will be paid. That's another thing, especially the pensions mm -hmm. will be paid. But now this brings us to the fact that I don't know how Nigerians have been made to believe that to have a job is to work for the government. Because if uh, paid jobs were everywhere, the government wouldn't have had any need to budget this kind of money just to pay salaries and all that. Because if you create jobs, you're not creating jobs in ministries, you're creating jobs, you're giving a, the enabling environment for businesses to thrive mm -hmm. that will also employ people. So the, the burden of salaries will be taken away from the, the government, as it were, and put in private hands. Private individuals will now be paying the people and all the money that the federal government or the state government will have will be for doing the things that will make life even more easy for the people that live in that community. I, 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 I think you're talking about an egalitarian society where <laughs> things work <laughs> the way they are supposed to because what, this, what is, what is this so hard? society that we live in, I mean, they work hand in hand. It's all oh, people... I am proud of my country and the people that we have in this place. Mm -hmm. We are so industrious open yeah. and ready to work. We are very talented, very industrious. But just like you mentioned, how is the environment? Mm -hmm. You know, how supportive is the environment? How conducive is, is it for businesses to thrive? I have a friend who just opened a business and he was telling me that he had spent over 500 to 800,000 naira just to get the business registered. Mm. Please, what is he registering? Is he registering a, a new so, federal government? So your, your, <laughs> your, your, your startup capital will be used for only registration you understand? and all that. And you still have to make, uh, you still have to make plans for taxes, mm. all the people Multiple that come and tell taxes. you to pay for a uh, door sticker, bathroom sticker, this done, that one, and then you still need to pay salaries. And then it is away from the 800K that he already spent on registration. Mm -hmm. That doesn't make any sense. So it works hand in hand. If the government wants us to help them pay salaries, they need to make the environment conducive and you know, enough for us to thrive doing businesses so that we don't have to work. Yeah. But on the other hand also, in fairness to the government, sometimes we also need to believe that if you're not working and wearing a tie like I'm wearing now, mm. you are still earning a living and you're gainfully employed. So there's this, there's this notion people have that if you're working for yourself, you're not employed until the government employs you. If you go to the roadside and you see uh, somebody who is a vulcanizer, for instance, mm. the money those people make in a day, if you put them together in a month, they make more than a lot of people who are in the, in the formal sector, as it were. But they will never see it as work. And so they will start, or someone who is seeing them will now be calling them people who don't have a job. <laughs> so, so that they will be discouraged to do these things. We should, we should encourage ourselves actually, to be self-employed as actually. well. And, and then I think we need to improve a lot on education. What I mean by that is not the regular school. Yeah, yeah. I mean financial education. I was sitting in a bus the other day. And by the time the conductor was collecting money from passengers, I did the math in my head. 
and you realize that what these people make in a day is actually higher than the daily pay by the time you break down your salary of a lot of people who claim to have a job. Yeah, yeah. You go to an Akara seller on the roadside and people are queuing for to buy Akara or some food that someone is selling at the roadside. But those people will still not call themselves uh, people who are gainfully employed. Mm -hmm. Now, I've seen on the internet as well someone who dressed up and was selling Okba and all that. I have seen one myself. I did a program with him at one point. And he told me that while I was interviewing him, he told me that he, because he was selling Moi Moi, he would wear a suit <laughs> and carry this moe on his head or in a barrel. Uh, and then people were, were rushing him because just seeing him in suit mm -hmm. tells you mentally, you just have it that this guy is neat even at home. Mm -hmm. So I have to buy his own moe moe. So he said he had used that to train all his siblings, and there are four, through university. He had two houses where, uh, where I interviewed him. And he come somewhere in Cross River State. He had two houses there built and three more plots hmm. in separate locations. And in his, in his village, he's from the east, in his village, he had a house as well and some land from selling moe moe. And I was <laughs> like, guy, me, I'm the one coming to stand before the camera talking to someone selling moe moe that, that has more money than me. That is someone who understands how his money works. Yeah. So you can do it yourself. And while you're doing it, have the dignity. Tell yourself that this thing you're doing, you are not the worst person because just because you're not sitting in an office. I mean, you want to make money. I, I, you know, every time I talk, it's almost as if I'm always talking about mindset, but we could never talk enough yeah. about it. It's all in your head. You're, mm -hmm. you're a vulcanizer and you're, you... <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Just that just for another day. Yeah. So whatever comes from your mind, I think the good book says it as well, whatever comes from your mind is, is what your mouth speaks, mm. it what's, it what's, what defines you, anything that you conceive in your mind, it, there's a possibility you become that thing. So mm -hmm. what are you conceiving in your mind today? Uh, what do you want to be because of how your mind is today? Works. We need to change it. For instance, if you are not, you don't eat, let's say, dog meat, and someone gives you and you don't know, you'll eat it and you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And then once they tell you that is dog meat, you feel begin, like puking. Yeah, you <laughs> begin to throw up. So the dog meat in itself doesn't have any properties it's that will make you throw head. up. It's in your head. Yeah. So you were enjoying it before you were told. Mm. Once you were told, it became poisonous to you. So a lot happens within and that translates into what will become outside. So you become sick because someone has told you one thing or the other mm -hmm. and all that. So we should be mindful how we think. So mindset, like you said, and is And taking it back to where we started this conversation from, I really honestly do pray and hope that these salaries be paid because mm. people have worked. People have worked. Yeah. Well, federal government, state governments, they're budgeting this thing. But um, fed, um, private sector... The federal government keeps talking about private sector coming into play and all that. Whatever the challenges are, I'm sure there are avenues to engage the government to mm. make them uh, make our business environment more, more flexible, more conducive for people to thrive. But whether the government comes in or not, the entertainment industry is it's growing. Thriving. So it's if soaring, it's if, flying. Yeah, if you <laughs> can do that, then your own sector might just be able to do that as well. The ICT sector is surviving almost without any mm -hmm. any contribution from the government. Entertainment is thriving. Every other thing is thriving. And even the footballers that over the years have made us proud, even though we didn't go for this World Cup, <laughs> uh, well. Most of them are from the streets. In Ajegunle, you go there, they're playing. There's no academy that is set up by the federal government, for instance, and all that. But the people still do what they need to do and measure up. They go outside, play Europa League and all other leagues in the world, and they do very well. So it's not all the time that we should be blaming government. Mm. But you two, government, sit up. <laughs> <laughs> when we vote you into power, like we're going to do in 2023, fulfill your campaign promises at least, mm -hmm. first of all, and then every other thing shall be added onto us. What, what, where did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing a suit, you know, so I could pass for one, one pastor. Okay, no problem. All right, uh, this is where we draw the curtain on today's edition of The Run-Up. I had amaz an amazing time. I hope you did 
to whatever you do stay positive uh the voters cards are already out there go and get your own if you registered if you didn't what happened but then if you registered it's already out there go get your own and it's closer to you now mm -hmm. stay positive my name is uchechuku onodo shun violence be patriotic and let me repeat, and every other thing shall be added on to you. <laughs> Happy weekend, guys. My name is Nyamgul Agaji.